Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's January the 21st and we're looking at Matthew chapter 14. We have in this passage, in the second part of Matthew 14, we have uh, three passages in which um, Christ does something which is very remarkable indeed it is the center of christ's ministry the pinnacle of christ's ministry um, <clears throat> uh, the lord jesus uh, departs in a ship to a desert place apart and when the people had heard thereof they followed him on foot out of the cities and jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion upon them and he healed their sick and when it was evening his disciples came to him saying this is a desert place the time is now past send the multitude away that they may go into the villages and buy victuals but jesus said unto them they have, they need not depart give ye them to eat and they say unto him we have here five loaves and two fishes and he said bring them hither to me and he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and two fishes and looking up to heaven he blessed and he brake and he gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude and they did all eat and were filled and they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full and they that had eaten were about five thousand men beside women and children so this is a tremendous miracle these are five thousand families five thousand families who knows how many people were there probably twenty to twenty five thousand people and they're all fed with just five small barley loaves and two small fish there's so much that can be said about this but this miracle is outstanding it is the one miracle miracle that is the culmination of Christ's messianic signs as a result of this miracle the people want to make him king but he refuses to be called king he sends the disciples away to the other side of the sea and he dismisses the multitude and then he goes up into the mountain to pray now <clears throat> the kings of Israel are the providers of the bread of Israel they are the political economic leaders this uh, messianic sign reminds us of David David is the one that uh, went to Abathar the high priest to ask for some bread that he might feed his men and what did he ask for he asked for five barley loaves five loaves to feed his men the Lord Jesus he takes five loaves and he feeds the multitude so this is a, a wonderful miracle and it, it it sets the Lord Jesus Christ apart as the Messiah of Israel so then the disciples are on the lake and Christ is in the mountain and he sees them on the lake in the midst of a storm and he comes to them in the fourth watch of the night now <clears throat> John takes up the same two uh, miracles and in John's gospel he is um, explaining by the use of the miracles that he uses it but the signs that he quotes he's using this as a picture of the Lord Jesus in the present day because in the present day Christ is absent from his people Israel he's in the mountain with his father and they are on troubled waters they're on Gentile waters and the storm or the wind is against them and he will come to them in the fourth watch of the night he will come to them at the end of the night 
and when he comes to them um, first of all they're troubled by his presence and then secondly that he says be of good cheer it is me do not be afraid it's like Joseph coming to his brethren saying look it's me it's Joseph it's Joseph I'm coming back to you and of course we have this little incident here of Peter who gets into the water to walk upon the water to Jesus and he does walk upon the water to Jesus however he sees the wind and he sees the waves and he begins to sink and he says Lord save me and then the Lord gets into the boat and he says O oh, you of little faith wherefore didst thou doubt and when they were come into the ship um, the wind ceased um, and they that were in the ship came and they worshipped him saying of a truth thou art the son of God this little expression the son of God is used of all those people in the history of the world that are uniquely created by God so it's used of angels they are individually made by God it's used of Christians who are individually saved by God it's used of the Lord Jesus who is the unique man who was who was born of a virgin uh, and therefore in that sense he was made in a unique sense as a man and so there we have my password is from verse 33 when they that were in the ship came and worshipped him they that were in the ship came and worshipped him they certainly did they bowed at his feet and they adored him and they worshipped him god bless you look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow have a wonderful day bye for now